Come in, sweetheart. Your friend and I are just having a business discussion. What kind? Mr. Zakara would like to invest in the Haunted Star. Do you think it's a coincidence that I just happen to be your daddy? Your casino is a very good business opportunity. Sure it is, until you and Lulu have a falling out, and then I'm left high and dry. Lulu and I aren't seeing each other anymore. It was her decision, and I respect it. Sure you do. That's why you're here. So you can accidentally bump into her. I've run the numbers, and the Haunted Star could turn a profit for me. Look, pal, your money is welcome. But don't delude yourself. The spuds in my daughter's life are of no concern to me. I'm very clear on that, Mr. Spencer. Why would you be interested in a Creole casino? Hey, that Creole casino is my nest egg. It's a good investment for the family business. It's for money laundering, isn't it? Huh. Quick, isn't she? The offer's legitimate and the conditions are more than fair. It's your call. Just admit it. You're buying into the Haunted Star because of me. And I know the Haunted Star because of you. You took me there, so... Yeah, you're part of the reason I'm making Stop the deal. Stop Are you trying to invest so you can get closer to me? Do you want my answer to be yes? The Haunted Star holds the only casino license in Port Charles. It's a very useful investment. That's a good sales pitch. Well, you've always loved the Haunted Star. And you're going crazy here, cooped up with Tracy. All right, I'll tell you what, I'll take your money. But I will not share control of the club. You know the casino business, you run the place how you see fit. Mr. Z, you got yourself a partner. Great. Get back to me with the details. I'll do that. And you, my lovely daughter, have got yourself a problem. Didn't you say the spuds of my life are none of your concern? Johnny Zakara, Logan, the reptilian spawn, <laughs> Spinelli, the incoherent cyber geek, and, I don't know, the guy who sells pretzels on 5th and Main, you know, whoever. They're all the same to me. Oh, okay, that's reassuring. No, look, darling, what I'm saying is that Junior Zakara is the real deal. Don't have any illusions. His family is dangerous. He's well-connected. He's in the life, and he's not coming out of it. And besides that, he's got this wacko of a sister who is a true loose cannon. So you're staying out of my love life completely, but just as a quick aside, Johnny is trouble? Maybe I'm just saying that if you have some kind of romantic notion that Johnny is going to change for you, that ain't never going to happen. How would you like to buy the Metro Court Hotel? Why would we buy a hotel? Because Sonny's ex co-owns it and she just insulted me and threw me out. If I buy it, then piece by piece, slowly but surely, I can take it away from you. It's a waste of energy. It's and money. It's not to me, John. So now you have it out for Sonny and his ex. I can multitask with the best of them. Well, we're in a business here. We need to stay focused. Forget about Carly. We need to make investments that will build our strength at Port Charles. Sounds like you already have something in mind. I'm investing in the Haunted Star Casino. You're right. Johnny can be unpredictable and dangerous, but doesn't matter because I've walked away from him. Have you? Yeah. I mean, no offense, but you and Mom were a cautionary tale. She thought she could reform you, and you gave it your best shot, but in the end it didn't work out. So there she was in the house that she loved, hoping that you could settle down and be happy with her and poor Charles, but you were cooped up and miserable, and that's just not a road I want to take. That's not a road I would ever want you to take. I mean, yeah, I, I, I like Johnny, and um, a part of me wishes that I could be with him, but a bigger part of me knows that it would be... A huge mistake, so thank you for the warning, but I don't need it. 
as soon as I can get things up and running. And I'm only rehiring the best, which is why I called you. Nobody serves them up like you do, baby. So if you're looking for a permanent gig, you got one. How's that? Could I have that? What, Thank you. What? Don't call my husband again. Now, why did you do that? Which part of no call girls didn't you get? That call had nothing to do with sex. <laughs> And I believe you, because you have a reputation for always telling the truth. Tracy, is that sarcasm? Don't even think of arguing, because I bankroll your every breath. You think again, wife. Hey, look, investing in the casino is a great idea, except for the minor detail. Luke Spencer happens to own that one, and Luke is loyal to Sonny. Matter of fact, when I went there to talk to him about, about the Corinthos organization, he wouldn't give me a shred of information. And when I left, Luke probably picked up the phone and called Sonny, told him I was nosing around, which could be a problem. Where are you going with this? I'm saying, he's a smart guy. Sonny ends up dead. We don't want Luke putting two and two together and realizing we're the ones who killed him. Well, it shouldn't be a problem if you cover your tracks like you said you were. I'm covering my tracks. I got my side. I'm just wondering why. I mean, I'm just curious why you suddenly want to buy Luke Spencer's casino. It's a good business move. It's also access to Lulu. I'm reopening the Haunted Star. Not with my money, you're not. I don't need your money. I have another backer. Really? Who's your sucker this time? Johnny Zakara. <laughs> oh, no, absolutely not. I don't recall asking your opinion. Look, you will not bring the Federal Bureau of Investigation down on my family. You just don't like the idea of me being financially independent of you. No, I think the day that you stop freeloading is the day I dance in the streets. Well, dust off your dancing shoes, darling. Okay, fine, yes. I would like it if we would want it to be with me. So you're just going to hang around the casino hoping she changes her mind? No. Then, I mean, why buy the haunted star? We always need ways to launder our money. We have nine different fronts in New York City alone. Okay, but not on poor Charles. Honey, you're crazy about that girl. It's written all over your face. You are so cute. When you care about somebody, Johnny, you are so loyal. That's what this is about. I know it is. Just be straight with me. Come on. Lou doesn't have any money of her own. I don't want her depending on her rich brother or her father's rich wife. This is about taking care of Lulu? Look, it may be a stupid way to spend my money. I get it. But at the end of the day, it's not hurting anybody. Hey, you know what? No, it's as good a reason as any to buy the haunted star. <laughs> okay, but you do make a good point about Luke. He's smart. We can't risk him connecting us with Sonny's dad. When is he planning on reopening? He's got a bum leg, so probably not for another couple of weeks. Not a problem. Sonny dies on Friday.